everybody and welcome once again to my video blog. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how I do my estrogen injection. Um, this might be of interest to some people because well not only do I take estrogen by injection but I use a, a method of injection that's called subcutaneous injection. So it's an injection under the skin using insulin needles and that's pretty uncommon for estrogen. I know some trans men do it for um, for testosterone and uh, diabetics inject insulin with needles like this. Uh, the main advantage is that the needle is very small, very short, and so unlike the traditional estrogen injection which is intramuscular and that is done with a one and a half inch needle uh, that you have to inject in your thigh or your buttocks, I can inject this under my skin in, uh, in my belly and uh, it's, it's not painful, there's usually no bleeding, and uh, I think it, it's simpler and faster than intramuscular. At least I find it less scary because I used to do intramuscular injections. And uh, they were sometimes fairly painful. I was always afraid that maybe, you know, I, I might hit a nerve and all that. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to be using is, uh, well, my estrogen, estradiol valorate 20 milligrams per ml. I inject uh, 0 0.2 ml of this once a week. I do it every Monday, so today's Monday night, and uh, it'll vial like this lasts me about uh, six months. Uh, it's meant to be sterile, so uh, the estrogen is in here, and I sterilize the vial uh, before doing the injection, so this is the first step. Uh, I'm going to take an alcohol pad uh, like this. You can buy these on eBay uh, very easily, and you open it up, and... Uh, Basically, rub it against the top of the bottle to disinfect it, you know, if, if any uh, germs got on there. And after this, I'm going to be uh, sticking the needle in the vial to, uh, to get the fluid out. So anyways, I've been on, on estrogen by injection for about uh, two years now, more than two years. And so far, I've been pretty satisfied with, uh, with the results. Um, I think I've got some pretty good results in some feminization, and I've also been able to uh, find a regimen that allows me to uh, maintain my my energy level and my sex drive pretty well. I think uh, so. I feel I feel pretty good. So this is uh, my needle once I've removed uh, the little protection cap here. So you should never touch the end of the needle. Uh, you have to keep it as sterile as possible. Um, but as you can see, it's very small and very short, like maybe you can barely see the needle on the video, but it's basically like, you know, as, as long as like the, the nail of my little finger, maybe a little longer. Uh, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some air into my needle and then inject the air into the vial. So this is going to help me suck the fluid out. Now, like I said, this is a very small gauge needle. So uh, usually people use bigger gauge needles because sucking the fluid out through a bigger gauge needle is easier. But even though this needle is very small, like I think it's like 28 gauge or something, you can still get the oil through here. Well, I should also mention the, the estrogen is, uh, is suspended in sesame oil. Uh, so I'm pulling it out right now and it's going to take a little while to uh, fill up the needle. So this is the the slower part of the process, like the the downside to using a small needle is that uh, you have to wait for your, your needle to fill up a little bit longer. But of course the upside is that it's going to be less painful and leave a smaller hole in your skin. So it's uh, it's slowly filling up right now, it's almost full, but there's a little bit of, uh, of air bubbles which I'm going to be pushing out of the needle. Uh, this needle has a capacity of 0 0.3 uh, ml, but I only need 0 0.2. So I'm pushing out the air bubbles, trying to get them all to come out. And there we go, I have just about 0 0.2 ml left in my needle. So I'll deposit my little vial here and I'm going to be injecting it into my belly. But before I do that, I will use another alcohol pad to sterilize the place where I'm going to be uh, injecting. So I try to, uh, to inject 
like on the left side one week and on the right side the next week, you know, alternate so that, you know, I guess the, you know, so that it doesn't get damaged too much on the, on the same side, I guess, to give it time to heal. But yes, I'm going to be uh, injecting it right about here on the left side today. So I'm going to be uh, rubbing this alcohol pad here to disinfect my skin. And then leaving a little bit of time for the alcohol to evaporate before I actually uh, do my injection. Then the next step is just to do the actual injection. And uh, I'm going to be injecting like under the skin into the fat. So I'm going to be uh, grabbing a little bit of my, my belly fat here like this. And then you want to inject it like uh, 45 degree angle like this. So pushing the needle in. This is always a little scary, but it doesn't hurt. Like there's no pain really. So then I just push the fluid, usually not too fast. Pushing in the estrogen. And I'm pretty much done now. It's injected, so I pull my needle out. And there you go. And uh, as you should be able to see, there is no blood. There is no mark really at uh, the site of injection. So really pretty quick, pretty easy, pretty painless. So uh, I, would, I would recommend this, uh, this method of estrogen injection. It was suggested to me by, by my endocrinologist. He said he had done it with other patients because he, uh, he sees both trans men and trans women patients. And so he said he tried it with some trans women and that the results were, were good. So he recommended that I try it because I, I didn't like the whole uh, intramuscular injection thing. And I've been uh, I've been doing this now for like a year and a half. It's been working absolutely fine. I'm pretty satisfied with the results. And this is what I wanted to show you for today. Um, have a nice day, everybody. Bye bye.